I'd like to look at the reissue of the uh, Buchla uh, 230 uh, triple envelope follower. Um, I love envelope followers. So I can put an audio into the signal in and it will generate a pulse and also a continuous control voltage. And the decay time of the pulse uh, and decay can be dialed in here from 0.1 to 5. I'm guessing that's seconds. Uh, and the sensitivity from 0 to max. And so by adjusting these two parameters, you can get everything from something that really just follows exactly the, the uh, amplitude of whatever's coming in. And, uh, or you can ratchet it down and uh, get more sparse response. So uh, I, the other morning on my walk, I recorded some Canadian geese. And the beauty about Canadian geese, I thought, is they have uh, that sharp accent and then some interesting control voltage uh, CV pitch shifting and uh, wavering after that. So the Canadian geese from my phone that I recorded sound like this. <laughs> So, let's go back to the beginning there. Now you could probably already see the uh, uh, LED responding to that. Here's what it is coming out of CV. I'm going to just open, um, use the CV to uh, open the gate on the 292 and also use the CV to come to pitch on the 258. So... <laughs> So now I'm going to play around with different parameters, um, and so hopefully you can follow along. Decay time, sensitivity, um, we'll look at different things here. I can also trigger um, a function generator instead of going in with the CV. I could also use that to uh, trigger the source of uncertainty and change up some pitches. So here we go. So now we just use this to trigger the envelope. And let's see, let's go uh, from here to the source of uncertainty and then come out uh, instead of coming out of the CV to get pitch will come out of our source of uncertainty and that's not going anywhere here we go So hopefully you can see lots of the possibilities here. And one thing that came to mind um, 
I was, I've been looking back at the Buchla 100 and realized that there were never any LFOs per se, not dedicated. Um, and I know Mort and Sabotnik was really using the envelope follower a lot. And I think what he was doing was, since he was using his voice or very slow things, he could create any LFO shape he needed from the envelope follower by either using his voice or sending different amplitudes of uh, sound into it. So there's a thought. Okay, um, thanks for watching.